Where you guys want to start at tonight? Man, we got a real different flavor profile here all the way across. <sighs> Look, I've had I've had the monkey shutter, love the monkey shutter. Uh, I want to try one of these first. That's about, my personal opinion. How about blading both? Let's start Let's with blading both. Hey, Welcome to the patio. First of all, let's start off with the key. Tell the people about the key. Okay, I'm going to talk about Blade and Bow. Blade and Bow is produced at the original site of the iconic Stetzel Weller distillery. You know what that means? I have no idea. Buffalo Trace. Weller. What? I'm from a similar place. <clears throat> it's in Louisville, Kentucky. It closed its doors in 1992, and Diageo reopened the facility in 2014. The origins of the Blade and Bow name, it represents the two parts of a skeleton key. So that's where the key comes from. Yep. Okay. Uh, the blade shaft and the ornate bow. Diagio state Diagio Diago. I don't know, but that's what it says. We're not smart. States that the blade and bow brand is a tribute to the five keys that once hung on the door of the Stitzel Weller Distillery, and stands for the five steps of making bourbon: grains, yeast, fermentation, distillation, and aging. Cool. Let's give us a little taste. What's that? You know the best. The best thing of the day is though. What? Millie, come here. What are you drinking we, we out? What? Put, we can't put a kid on this. Why? Because we're drinking bourbon. They will. Really? Oh, yeah. So we'll cut that out. But let's, let's yeah. Do this, yeah. Start over. So, I don't know that. Let's see. Uh, what's this taste like? Well, we got a little bourbon. We're going to pour a little bit. Yeah, let's, pour a little bit. Uh, let's, let's pour a little in the, the Glen Cairns here. Oh, that's a pretty good little taste there. Let's, that up. let's bring these down, boys. Let's take these out of here. Get them out of the way. Clear them out. Get them out of the way. So we'll set that in there. This is mine. Since this is a little too much. Get them out of here, Bobby. Yeah, just wait a second. We'll, I am. I'm going we'll to listen to it. I'm going to time. You going to say what it sounds like? I'm going to say what it sounds like. Nice. Since I'm the spiritual leader of the spirits. This is Father Fortenberry. Father Fortenberry, your bush light bishop. All right, so uh, Father Fortenberry, give us your taste test here. Go, go for it. Just a second. Just a second. Let me, let me hear the spirits. Since I'm a spiritual it. leader, I can hear the spirits talking to me. What did it say? Drink me. Drink me. Mm. Mm. I, okay. I say this all the time, but y'all, uh, it has an earthy smell to it. Does all bourbon not have an earthy smell? No, 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 all of them don't. All of them do not. All right, here it goes. It's over the lips. Well, look at those legs. Okay, uh, the, 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 the start is strong, it finishes soft. Oh. It doesn't have a, uh, not much burn. What's Marty, proof, what's proof on that? 90. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, 90. 90? 90. Uh, strong, earthy taste. I like it. Marty, what was You do give it a flavor to profile. Let's see what Marty's got to say. He don't say much. It's strong on the front. Just so you know, much like Gary, Gary Marty Marsh kind of quiet until he becomes his own. It's, uh, what do you think? It's really smooth. It, it, no, it's very smooth. I could, in my nose, it's like, no, yeah. I don't my nostrils, but uh, it's really smooth. It's smoother than I thought it would be. All right, so now let's so Or it's not as hot. Let's take it. No, well, let's 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 I stand by, yeah. It's I tasty. It is tasty. I stand by. It's uh, it's strong in the front, a little soft in the back, which it I does, like. It I doesn't like. burn going down. No, no, I, li mm -hmm. I, li I like the... Uh, no, it's tasty. It's very tasty. After the little the little, little bit of burn, the finish is... I mean, it's... The finish is soft. No, leave it alone. That really is fun. All right, should we uh, wash them out and yeah, move on to number two? Let's, uh, let's clean our palace with some, uh, with some Ray Eagle. Just so y'all at home if you're keeping Rare score. Eagle. Rare Eagle is the brother of Eagle Rare. Sam, are we recording? Did I say Rare? Did I say are we Rare? Record? Make Rare, sure. Rare Eagle's when it's almost empty. <laughs> I said Rare Eagle, didn't I? All right. I, I did say Rare Eagle. <laughs> we need to... Uh, I'm, I'm 
So why why are these called Glen Marys? <laughs> They're Glen Cairns. Glen Cairns. And it's not named after some uh, some overbear white chick. Some white chick that explain. Yeah. Uh, because that's where they come from. They come from Scotland. In, in Glen Cairns, Scotland. Mm -hmm. You know, most Scots start with Glen. So I did not know that. What do we know about this foolproof, Marty? Man, I know it was made in 1792. Is it's a store pick that come from Springfield, Missouri? And it's 125 proof. 125 proof. I just spit everywhere. Yeah, Look. I think that's going to be pretty You know tough. what? I like the hard, the highest it, it thing I've had. It comes Distillery. So maybe the highest thing I've had is 117, which is uh, rib uh, rate. Look, for those of you that's granddad. never tried 1790. Was, was up granddad 100, 114? 114. Look, seven, we talked about this the other day, but y'all probably didn't listen or watch. Oh, go hit the like button, by the way. But 1792 is a very good bourbon. Especially, it's a good entry level. Bourbon. I like it. If yeah. you don't know if you like bourbon or not, 1792 is not a bad way to go. It goes under the radar, although i got a feeling people are going to start to pick up on it. Foolproof is actually quite fruity. That, this is a review I'm reading here. Far from the level of a finished bourbon such as Joseph Magnus, which I've never had. It's very long and pleasant finish, incredibly favorable, distinguished, and rich flavor. We're going to find out. Look, I'm not typically a fan of high-proof bourbon. And look, all you at home go, well, he's not a true bourbon connoisseur. It's just me. I, I, I prefer. Look, we've got a table that tells us how much water to add to this thing. Look how dark that is compared to those. It is dark. It's very dark. Look, I think so, those are good pours, but I feel like I poured over because it's so dark. You poured a lot. No, so, no. There's no uh, good Fort Mary went first. It's barely, I'll go first it's barely past the shoulders. I'll go first. Let's take the, uh, the nose. Let here. me check the legs. Okay, that's a good. It reminds me of normal 1792. Yep. I just spilled. I spilled some. It smells like hairspray. Look, for a 125 per bourbon. That's stout. It's not bad. Really? I do. Booker's is the only one I can really compare it to. And I'm not a fan of Booker's, but as I mentioned before, I'm not a fan of any of the spice bourbons. But this is this is solid. It is pretty. It finished pretty Ooh. smooth. Marty, tell us what you think. Now I'm gonna add some water to mine. I'm gonna bring the color to uh, what I would say is what. Man. God, it's dark. It, it kind of goes down your throat and through your nose, but the finish Look how is dark still that is. good. But the it's finish good. is still really good. Look, the finish is really let me, good. Let me. I can't. Uh, that's like Vicks vapor rub. I don't even need to uh, add any water to it. Not, not by, can, by, not by the smell, that. but by the way it is. Ooh, that's stout. Okay. But it's, I'm telling you though, it's not like a typical. You get the sweet? The, the sugar smell? Or the... No, I got sinuses open up. Well, take you a snort. Well, you better open your sinuses up on the. <laughs> Dude, for 125? It's way better. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on 1792. Hey, if you find it, you should buy it. I'm telling you, it's a good point. The, 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 the flavor it. is strong on the back. It's for 125. It's really mild, actually. Um, I drink. Hey, my, look, you, and we're from the patio. You can call us pansy asses, whatever you want. But we typically like a lower proof bourbon. I drink. Oh, I like high proof. I like fur high fruit, but I like my own water, which let me tell you. Did you add a little water? I did. So I think so this you can is tell by the color. Yes, this is how I would typically drink mine. Yeah, so let's see what you think. You get a good cigar with that bourbon? You got a coat? No, I ain't gonna mess with ice. I got a soda sitting over there. No, no, no. He got ice on there. I got ice in that coat. Oh, you need ice. I mean, have me, have me one cube. A single cube? A single cube. My hands are clean. That's all right. I ain't worried about your hands. I got a half moon. You probably got a fungus on your hand. You probably got the, the danger fungus. I cannot believe that that. It's one twenty five. That's I think that about as high as proof I had besides the Booker's. So and that, Booker's, the Booker's we don't like. We the don't Booker's, Booker's burn me up. That, that, I say Booker's and Blanton's. So this is how I, I would typically drink a uh, bourbon. It almost looks like oranges. Mimosa. Mimosa. That is what it looks like. Ooh, you like that? Try it like that. The legs are a little weaker. Oh, they are. Yeah. I got the leg, man. That's how I drink my bourbon right there. 
That's really, really good. Really that, that flavor I've never profile. Put water. Dude, I, I put, wa I put, I put so water look, in all mine. So far, I think we like all the bourbons. I don't think we're necessarily going to rank them tonight. We won't talk about it. No, yeah. So the yeah. full proof is really good. So that's a really good. It's and really look, solid. we talked about last time how we probably need to do some higher proof bourbon. Well, that, that was really solid. We got an extra one now. Yeah, and that's good. That's the only reason we're tasting it tonight because there is an extra one. All right, so the next one coming up. This is mine. Whiskey. It's not actually a bourbon. It's no. It's a whiskey. It's a scotch. Scotch. Your boy Fort Berry over here, I stumbled on this thing. Monkey show. And first of all, if you listen to the podcast at all, you, you've heard us talk about this. This is possibly the most handsome bottle to run across. Do you know there's a story of monkey show? You you, look, look at the monkeys on it, Marty. Triple monkey. Oh, Triple there's monkey. some on the oh, bottom, too. Yeah, look. Funny how... So, so one day I'm sitting there we got, in we the got studio the editing. Monkeys here. Ja we've been drinking this monkey shoulder, and I go, guys, did y'all know there's monkeys on the bottom of the bottle? No, we didn't, but there it is. So tell us about T.Y. Pool. Years ago, some malt men would develop a strain injury, which had a tendency to cause their arm to hang down a bit like a monkey, so they nicknamed it monkey shoulder. But at one time, monkey shoulder was the most smuggled scotch in all the world. People wanted it so badly, especially during the days of the Revolution, you up a little bit. that they would smuggle it into the U.S. And uh, I gotta say, guys, I'm not normally a Scotch drinker, but Fortenberry has turned me on to this. Look, first time I had so Scotch, you never tried it. You be the first to try. I don't think I've ever had first scotch. time I had Scotch. I thought I was drinking an ash tray. Again, this is monkey shoulder. There's the three monkeys. I almost smell bananas, and I know that sounds crazy, but no, I get you. Yeah. It's the only bourbon I actually like smell. Banana, maybe banana foster or something like that. Yeah, yeah banana it's, was it's sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, what am? Sweet taste. Grassy or, or <laughs> No. No, serious. It's, it's, no, got, it's got a it's, it's, hate. It's so hate. different. I hate, I hate taste. I, I've never drank scotch. No, no, look. It's a, it's a uh, is it grassy or floral or something no. like that? It's the fruitiness. <sighs> the, the, this is, look. Marty didn't like it. No, it's not bad. It's not far from bourbon. It's not far from bourbon But it's all. not bourbon. No, it's not bourbon. But this is monkey shoulder. If you want to start on your scotch journey, Look, everybody's getting into bourbon, right? I can't pick them. This is not a bad spot to start. So, that it tastes really good mix. This is, well, how much is that about 30 bucks? Uh, $35. Yeah, $35. It, it, price point's right. It's, it's a good starting bourbon. Tax and all, I think I paid scotch. $39. It's a great spot to start in your scotch because as you progress through bourbon, Oh, it's a hay taste. You go with No, no, no. I, I'm not disagreeing with like you. Like a sweet, a sweet feed hay. Yeah, it's a. Uh, looks like I peed my pants. I spilled, I spilled shit all over. But, um, so, it's, it's somebody who's tried bourbon or scotch and vowed I'd never drink it again. That right there is. Well, I've never tried it. But now, I, it makes I me. Say, that's I, not bad. I, I could drink it. Especially mixed. It, it makes me want to so it makes me wanna try more let's, scotches. Um, let's put our, our bottles back up here. Let's talk about it a little bit. Okay. Just so you know, there are only two bourbons that we do not like. And we're going to make some people mad with one of them and the other one. Everybody in the world agrees with us. There is a Crown Royal Mesquite. That it's is Crown Bourbon, really? What's a whiskey? It's Canadian whiskey. It's a, it's a blended whiskey. But that Mesquite Crown. It's not a bourbon. It's a blended whiskey. It's the strangest thing I've ever drank. I don't like how Crown. Much you try it. It's terrible. But try, I, try look, the water. Try that. Uh, right Bladen Bow. Water. Bladen Bow. I tried again. I drank this. Oh, absolutely. It's about a $50 yeah. bottle. It's yes. really good. So what this is the price? That's 50 About 50 bucks. Foolproof. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. That's 50 yeah. I just bought it today. Wow. That, that is a... Hey, for $50, that right there is a deal because it will get you 10 toes to Jesus. Not, well, not just that. Seventeen ninety-two is a good bourbon. Oh, that, not just that. Yeah, like, even, even a $30 bottle is good, but that right there... Yeah. You just bought it today at... No, I didn't buy it. That's, that's a different one. But, but... The the uh, 1792, it's really good bourbon. It's good quality. 
Look, if you go looking for, the, if you're a tater and you go looking for the Buffalo Trace stuff, and you can't find but anything but a, but a, a foolproof 1792 because people don't know any better, go ahead and get you one. That may be the first time I've ever seen it in a store. I got the other one from a guy at work. But, uh. Because, look, the Buffalo Trace stuff is what everybody wants, but we've been talking about it for a while. If you can't get it, branch out a little bit. My personal favorite is that bottle of Four Roses Single Barrel. So look, I advise, I advise everybody. Absolutely love it. Find something outside of what you normally drink and try it. And you can hit us up. I can tell you where to get this. They've had two cases. Look, if you're in, in Crittenden County or the uh, Mid-South area, we've been fortunate. Eagle Rare is readily available. We've got uh, Weller been pretty easy to find. Sazerac Rye been easy to find. So all you taters out there looking for stuff, this is a good place for it. Even Blanton's, E.H. Taylor, all those things. Now, the one thing, Weller foolproof, like I mentioned before, it's hard to find. But look, this, this is good stuff. Parting words. Yeah, I think we're we're there. Oh, last can, week. All right, never mind. For me, Martin. <laughs> what, what's your part words? All right. If anybody wants to join in at the bar, you can go on camera. Just come on. How easy is it to be on camera? Look, so easy. We it will. Easy add, me, but, so easy. But it's pretty easy now. Yeah. We'll, we look. We will have tables in the bar and grill. We'll cook for you. We don't typically like high proof bourbon. 1792 is the way to go. If you're looking for something to get entry level and you can't find other stuff, this is not a bad way to go. Not a bad way to go. Or the original 1792. Oh, or, so or Fighting good. Cop. These are my favorite two tonight. And it wasn't a week ago or a month ago. No. This Martin one, and I sampled and this one. And you can put, that could be my, out there. I was going to say my favorite were tonight. I love, love. So look, go hit the but button. But I don't disagree with you. Tell us like, look. Yeah. We tried to go live tonight. We couldn't, but next week, not next week, two weeks from now, we are going live. i like to point this out. I got a lot of red on. I wouldn't intend to just roll with it. Life in the patio, out.